class i can ask some questions everyone okay please respond everyone um example let it be creation and postings where we will create the gl everyone where we will create the gl spro script gl spro script no 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 sorry. easy access script sorry means t code t code ss double zero ss double zero where we will create vendor bp bp sir bp bp where we will create customer bp 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 sir uh, where we will create asset Yes, yes, 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 01. 
LSMW. Solution is LSMW, everyone. Solution is LSMW. One second. Solution is LSMW. L S M W. So this L S M W work E C C and S four Hana also. L S M W will work E C C and S four Hana. In the place of L S M W in S four Hana, then one more process also S A P introduced. That is called L T M C. That is called L T M C. Even this LTMC also, now it's not working on 2022 onwards. 2022 onwards, version onwards, they introduce one more app, data migration cockpit app they introduce. Now first let us understood LSMW, later we will go to L LTMC or LTMOM and all. Let us understand LSMW. LSMW will work ECC and S4. Why we can use it? LSMW, why we can use LSMW? If you want to create one or two master data, then you can use these T codes. If you want to create multiple hundreds of cost center, 2000 GLs, any more than more, more, then that time we can use LSMW. For example, everyone, for example, uh, what is the full form of LSMW? Note it down, note it down, everyone. Put the heading of LS. First, you try to understand LSMW. Later, I can explain LTMC, LTMOM, and uh, migration data cockpit, different, different apps we will discuss. Let it be. Note it down. Full form of LSMW. Full form of LSMW. Full form of LSMW. Legacy system. Legacy system, migration workbench. Legacy system, migration workbench. Legacy system, migration workbench. Legacy system, migration, workbench. Next line, note it down. Legacy system means, legacy system means, legacy system means, other than SAP system, Legacy system means other than SAP system. Example, Cali, Arkil, PeopleSoft, Bon, Microsoft Dynamics, dot, 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 etc. Dot, dot, etc. Dot, dot, etc. Everyone, listen careful. Listen careful. We have uh, SAP system. We have SAP system. And we have uh, some other than SAP system. Let us take uh, tally. Tally means, tally means legacy system. Tally, Arkil, uh, PeopleSoft, Bon, other than SAP, okay. Other than SAP, all ERPs we are called as a legacy system. Example, currently, present, present, our client is using in Tally. What is our client? Who is our client? Our client is um, BM Group of Company. Our client is BM Group of Company. So now, currently, they are using in Tally. Currently, they are using in tally. So now what we need to do? Now we are implementing SAP. 
Correct. For example, present they are using in tally. Now they want to shift tally to SAP. Example, everyone. Example, I am telling. Tally to SAP. So in the tally, they have, let us assume, 500 cost centers. 500 cost centers. In the tally, they have 500 cost centers. See, if you have one or two cost centers or three or four cost centers, let us go to directly KS01 in SAP, then create. But in tally, we have 500 cost centers. Then how we can move all these 500 cost centers, tally to SAP? So whatever data, whatever master data in tally, all master data we need to update in SAP. Why? Because we are doing implementation. We are doing implementation. Whatever GLs in tally, we want to update in all the GLs in SAP. Whatever vendors, customer, asset, whatever things in tally, we want to update in SAP. Migration, data migration. What is the meaning of migration? What is the meaning of migration? Anyone? Migration means? Change. Move from one place to another place. Move, move to one place to another place. Some people moving India to America, migrating, migration. There is a, in airport, there is a separate department, migration department. Okay, same. So, the, here the data moving, data want to move whatever information available in tally, that information I want to update here. See, if you want to, if you have one or two cost center, one or two assets, one or two GLs, then directly go to respect to T codes and create. But here in the business, in the business, they have hundreds of master data, thousands of GL, thousands of vendor, thousands of customers. Then what you will do? So we are unable to use these T codes if you have hundreds, thousands of that. If you use these T codes now, it will take a lot of time. The solution is LSMW, Legacy System Migration Workbench. Clear, clear so far. Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Let us assume. Go to LSMW. Let's open SAP. Go to LSMW. LSM Hare Krishna. <laughs> Go to LSMW and uh, can you please note it down? Legacy system migration workers. Did you note it, everyone? Did you note it, this? Yes, sir. Legacy, yes, sir. Legacy system migration. Better, uh, can you please note it on this, everyone? Example, now I'm taking cost center. Same process for all.
डन डन सर जी Once you completed, please respond, everyone. Done. Done. So, even this is master data creation. Even transactional data also it can be creation, change, anything you can use LSMW. Okay, very simple, everyone. What is meant by LSMW means it's a lengthy process actually. First, we can Create template. Create template. What is meant by template, everyone? Template means Excel Repeat. template. Repeat. Ah, create. First, we will create the template. Then we will update. Update master data, whatever. Ah, it data in template data in template then you can upload upload template in sap very simple everyone first we can create one template first we can create one template which master data you want to upload i mean gl vendor customer asset which master data you want to create first we can create one template then all the information, how many information you want, then you can upload, update in all the information that template, then directly you can upload into that template into the essay. So behalf of using these T codes, behalf of using these T codes, directly in the Excel, you can enter all the information in Excel, that Excel we are going to upload into the SAP. Okay. No, sir, we don't want to use LSMW. We can use this T code. See this wrong? Nothing is wrong. Then it will take a lot of time, day and night. <laughs> Clear, everyone? Clear? Yes, no? Following? Yes, sir. Yeah. So in the LSMW, what we need to do? First, we can create template. Then later, we can update the data on template. Then later, we can upload the template in SAP. So how to create the template for vendor, customer, same process for all, then I will show you on cost centers. Okay, I will show on cost center. Let us create that. Go to everyone, concentrate here everyone. This is some dry subject everyone. So click on this, click on that, go here, go there. So this is something in dry subject. Please focus, okay. Please listen, then after my class, so we will upload the recording session on respective Google Drive. Then once again, you can watch. Maybe if it, I can share some practice material, then you can watch all the practice material. Then let's do the practice. Okay, very important everyone. Especially during the implementation project on cut our activity stage. Okay, cut our activity stage, we can use this LS and web master data upload. Okay, master data uploads and all, we can use L. I mean, LSMW, LTMC, like blah, 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 XOJ, okay? If you know this process, you are become a king, hero, okay? Listen, listen carefully. Go to LSMW, LSMW, and uh, first you can click on your create, everyone, click on your create, and uh, set up here one project name, it means all master data upload, we will treat it as a mini project. All master data upload, we can, okay. And uh, here, you know, project name means uh, cost center, right? BM cost center upload. And here, uh, BM cost center 
post come to this t code click on your create here one pop up will come here you can enter project name and description bm cost center cost center upload and uh, click on your okay okay then again uh, set up your again name same name you can click on your okay again same name you can maintain if in difference also no problem i'm maintaining same name click on your okay okay see now we are doing bm cost center upload then now you can click on your execute first create set up the name then click on your execute here here so first first target is create the template next target is update the data in template third target is upload the template in async three targets everyone three targets target number 1 target number 2 target number 3 okay and um, click on your execute here click on your execute there is a different different steps and first one define define objective attributes double click on define attributes and uh, here now can you please note it down everyone can you please note it down types of types of types of lsmw methods note it down this standard batch direct input batch indirect input business objective method bapi then idoc intermediate document four methods everyone four methods interview question it is it is how many methods in lsmw four methods Note it down one note everyone. Put the star and note it down. Note it everyone, these four steps. Just a heading. Yes, no? Note it, sir. Note it down one note everyone. Functional consultant. Functional consultant. Used by batch input record method. Maximum time ninety nine point nine nine percent. They can use batch input regarding session for all methods same way. For example, everyone, I want to go Tirupati to Hyderabad. Either I can go through flight. Either I can go through train. Either I can go through bus. That is my wish. Same to same. You want to migrate the data legacy system to SAP system. Which method you follow? As your wish. End of the day, the client is what client is looking. The data want to upload that it tally to SAP. Which method you can follow your wish. So maximum people follow batch input recording session. Clear? Clear so far? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes. Listen. Listen carefully, everyone. Listen. Here you can. Very important. Listen. Listen, everyone. Select. Click on your batch input recording session. Click on your overview. Here. This one. Recording overview. We need to record the fields. Which fields you want on the template? Which fields you want? We can record the fields on the template. Which fields you want? Then here you can record. For example, click on your record overview. Here, here, recording overview. And click on your create. And uh, set up here any name and write the description. Example, BM cost center upload bm cost center upload and uh, click on your okay 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 now it will asking transaction everyone 
example everyone if you want to upload assets which t code i want to enter here yes yes, yes. yes if i want to upload gl what t codes FS if I want to upload BP, TOD is called BP only, business yes. partner for BP. Like this, whatever master data you want to upload, that transaction code you can enter. Example, now I want to upload cost centers. Now I want to upload cost centers indeed. So let's enter KS01. Press enter, enter. Now, first one is called, it will, now very careful everyone. Now it is, uh, all the data uh, fields are recording now. Fields are recording now. Example, uh, cost center, BMCA. What is your cost center? BMCA is correct? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. sir. And the cost center name, set up here any name. Example, BM12. BM bm cc12 bm cost center 12 any name cost center name and from date and to date from date and to date here i can take na mm, april 1st i can take 2023rd from date and to date from date and to date everyone From date and to date. Press enter. Enter. Now, now, here you can set up the name. Which name? Example, uh, BMCC12. And here you can repeat the same name. BM uh, cost center. Cost center. 12 department. Here, person responsible. Person responsible is Mr. Ramana and here uh, cost element category what category you want example this is finance any any category you can take okay who oh, I can take then cost center hierarchy so you can take this hierarchy then company code BM10 then business area BM HB then currency INR whatever currency you want and profit center bm sorry bm 100 so what is your what is your profit center your business area your company code your hierarchy and what category you want person responsible and uh, description you can enter all the details guys if you click on your save if you click on your save listen listen careful now all the fields are recording be careful okay click on your save save and uh, click on your default all click on your default all and save again everyone see this one this is the technical names and this is the functional names everyone let's open sap uh, excel open excel everyone open excel Copy all the fields, everyone. Excel is very, very important, everyone. Okay. Open this all the fields. Copy this all the fields. Example, control Y. Use control Y. Now, observe my cursor, everyone. If you press enter control Y, it goes to select mode. And select all the things. Select all the things. Control C, copy. And go to Excel. Excel. Here, control V, paste. So, delete this. Uh, first, we are creating template, everyone. Creating template. And uh, remove this uh, space, delete. And uh, everyone, concentrate here. Select this. Text to columns. And go to data, text to columns. Mm, text to columns. Yes, into one second, back, back, this one. Next, finish. Now it is text to columns. 
everyone concentrate here again select this information control c open new page here na paste special go to paste special and uh, this one na here you need to take uh, like left side to right side want to come uh, wait for each one let's click on transport like this on the yeah you can select paste like this transpose so this is the template everyone this is the template this is the template everyone so this template you can share to end user who will use the tally everyone for example what is our target whatever how, how many cost centers in tally all the cost centers we want to upload into the sap see one or two cost center directly you can take information from the end user you can take information from end user go to case 01 and create but 500 cost center 600 cost center 2000 cost centers then how you can how you can create so with, with using our lsmw first we can create the template then this template this template we can share to the end users end user will give all the information end user will give all the information whatever information they have they will give you remaining information you want to upload they don't know right they don't know all the information whatever information they know they can give you remaining information set up calls with the end users then you can explain the value of the field the definition of fields and all you can ask the take correct information then then you can update so this is the template you can delete this one this is the one this is the template everyone okay and uh, so this template updated by the your uh, this one okay example controlling area bmca let's uh, create uh, a com card though do one thing everyone bmca are able to see my screen everyone properly how is now good yes sir, yes, sir. and uh, here let's create uh, how many uh, 10 cost centers you can upload it 10 cost center set up your cost center name bmca sorry cost center bm cc one three and uh, here cost center set up your any name like this this is the cost center and here valid from and to valid from and to do one thing open new session let's take like this way go to case zero one and from and to from see this is the updation we will do for this one who is he end users will do this okay valid from one to they will they knows okay so this is the cost centers and this is the general name and description what is the name and description go to ks03 and name example everyone this is the names everyone Car center names and description means full name, name and full name like that. Car center upload like that. Even I'm same name, I'm taking description also. In case if you defer, you can enter name everyone, car center name. Set up here any uh, up to set up name and general name, description, blah, 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 XYZ. Person responsible, person responsible. This activity end user will do. Okay. Simply you can create the template share information to this template to end user end user will upload all the data and it will share whatever information they know they can update later you you can want to update your own way and you can verify all the template then you can upload without verification don't upload anything okay very careful huh? uh, mr ramana and uh, mr suresh person responsible and mr lalit hello lalit how are you and Mr. Moria, 
and uh, Mr. Pujit and uh, Mr. Evans and uh, Mr. Yogi and uh, Mr. Somo and uh, Miss Ashwini and uh, Miss Lakshmi ma'am. Okay. And uh, what is this cost center? What is this? KSSR, this one everyone. After this cost center category, this one, which category you want? Let it be, I want finance category. Hare Krishna. Finance category. What category you want? You can take that category. This cost center belongs to which category? You can enter that category name. What is this? Here now, like uh, uh, A, B, E, F, G, blah, 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 blah. So it is there. What category you want? You can enter that category. Example, I am taking O actually. Okay. It's a O or zero. What is this? This is O, right? Not a zero, right? Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, O or zero. O, right? Uh, And uh, here now, hierarchy. So, which hierarchy you want? This is my cost element hierarchy, this one. And this is the one. And company code. What, which company code you want? BM10. And business area, BM HB. Following everyone, what I'm doing? Yes, no? Feeling yes. more? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We are following. Following. Huh? And the currency, INR. So instead of creating case 01, we are creating one template. So all hundreds of cost centers you can upload at a time. If you use case 01, it will take a lot of time. Not only case 0, any T code. Okay. And profit center, BM100. Any profit center you can take. Whatever profit center you want, you can take that one. I am taking this one. So this is the template. Template is ready. Now this template you want to upload into the essay. How simple? Very simple. So everyone, so basically this is the, this is the technical names. This is the functional names. This is the technical name and this is the functional name. Do one thing, everyone. Let's save this Excel in SAP better. Save in SAP desktop. Pass center upload. Center upload. And click on your OK. Okay. Now, everyone, do one thing. If you want to, basically, we can create template in Excel. We can upload the data in Excel. But we will, we don't want to upload Excel into the SAP. We can convert Excel to Notepad. We can convert Excel to Notepad. Then we will upload. For example, everyone, remove this header data, technical name and functional name. You can delete. Everyone, listen carefully. You can delete this technical name and functional name. And here you can select here. Remove all the space, everyone. You can remove the space. Don't keep any space one, uh, one to one like this. You can remove this space. Delete all technical name and functional name. Header data, you can delete. You can keep only this information. And this is you want to save in the notepad. How you can save? Anyone knows how we can save this data in Notepad? Go to, I mean, Office button. Click on your Save As. Click on your Save As. And where I want to save in Desktop. Then here, everyone, here. Save As in Notepad. Uh, tab, test Tabular, that one is there. Which one is called? You want to take the format. 
B limited, that one is there. Uh, it that deal text. Huh? Yeah, where where it is? Yeah, above the Unicode text. Middle middle. Ah, oh, this one. Something. This one. Tab D limited. This one you have to take. Text tab D limited. And click on here. Yeah, save. Yes. Then don't. Uh, open any document here. Everything you can close. Everything you can close, everyone. Everything you can close. Okay. And let's see the desktop. Where it is my, this one, right? This is the notepad. This is the details we need to upload. Document is ready. Excel is very important, everyone. Excel is very, very important. Uh, H lookup, not only SAP, everyone. If you joined any company, any type of job, even if you are manager, senior manager, you are end user, you are accountant, you are SAP consultant, any any type of company, 30% of work we will do on MS Office, like MS Excel, Word, PowerPoint, like that. 30% of work. Remaining, we can do our respective ERPs. Are you agree or not? Anyone? Yes, sir. Yes. So, this much is important. Go and learn Excel, MS Office like that. If you, if you know very good faculty, go and learn. Otherwise, you can contact me. I will give you one very good faculty number. You can learn there. So, now... Go to SAP and save and back and one step back. And here you can click on your browse, then save and back. Can you please note it down these steps, everyone? Oh, for I done first step. Note it down all the list of steps, this many steps we want to perform. Note it down all the steps, everyone. Note it on all the steps. Sometimes interviewer will ask this question. How many steps you want to perform? What is the steps names? You can buy hat. You can buy hat for the interview purpose. All the steps names. Okay. Once you completed, please respond everyone. Note it. Please note it down. That completed? No, no, it's not. Yes. Legacy system, migration workbench. Later, sir.
Dance. Done, everyone. Done. Yes, no. Done. So once uh, you completed this one, uh, and double click on define uh, source structure, define source second step. Now we want to perform define source structure, and click on here create. Set up here any name and write the description. Example, I am set up here BM uh, call center upload BM call center upload click on here okay okay so maybe same name you don't want to use you can add on any other names set up here any name don't be any duplicate okay and add on some other number okay see then save one back so this is some dry subject everyone click on this click on that uh like that way okay and uh, click on go one step back one step back the next one double click on maintain source field and everyone do one thing everyone before going to i mean uh, define source field select your third step after selection of third step go to objective overview everyone go to objective overview before one second before double click on third step go to objective overview and click on your list and come down and this is the you uploaded everyone this is the technical names and this is the functional name and c means characteristic and this is the length actually do one thing open excel again open excel again and uh, control y copy control y select mode control y select mode select all the things control c and paste it here and uh, text two columns text two columns actually so this is the technical names and this is the functional names type means characteristics and this is the length actually okay CINF. Yeah. So this is the we updated the fields, everyone. These fields we uploaded. Okay. Profit center, how much length you required? Like that. Blah blah blah. Like switch. Okay. One step back, one step back. And uh, now you double click on define source field. And uh, example, delete existing one. And click on your uh, I mean everyone, country details. And save once save it won't delete and click on your table select this click on your new entry I mean create field or directly click on your table table maintenance and here you can enter everyone what is the field name technical field technical name this is the technical name you can take this is the technical name you can take from here controlling area and all header data not required now header data is not required and you can take from here first two fields is not required table name and uh, t code is not required any any information first two line items are not required and type type is the characteristics type is a characteristics you can take first two line items is not required you can take from from here onwards you can upload any master data uh, asset asset gl any first two line items are not required why because that is the transaction code table name and all not required you can you can from third onwards you can go so characteristic it's a c c means characters uh, better c means you can character c C and the length, how much length do you require? 
sir 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 all are all are c sir uh, characters ah so yes currency, ha, let's, currency. Ha. let's take this one also c better hmm? no problem uh -huh. yeah yes press enter it will start from c no, no problem enter see functional name will come automatically here then click on your save click on your save and back one step back see all are will going to upload means we are giving the instruction to the system we are giving instruction to the system uh, we need to upload controlling area how much length maximum cost center how much length then from date and to date how much length name how much length long text how much length person responsible how much length is this character sticks or what like that okay and this information you can take okay so we are giving guide uh, instruction to the system okay this uh, given for the template this is look like of template uh, update i mean creation and all first we can create the template then later that template how look like we are giving instruction to the system okay click on your save and back save and one step back and uh, define structure relation double click on structure relation and select delete existing one and click on your relation and save that's it and one step back define field mapping this is very important everything and double click on field mapping this is something dry subject okay please careful and after the class you can note it down step by step with watching of our recording session then you can otherwise we will share practice material now you can use that also and double click on define field mapping conversion and uh, go to here now whatever fields you can enter select this first one select this go to click on your change first you can click on your display and change and go to extras click on your auto field mapping it's hide mode go to extras auto field mapping means what is the technical name what is the functional name what is the characters you can okay if you select this click on your display i mean click on this display and all go to extras it is hide and again if you decide again you can select once again and go to extras then unhide like this okay and click on your auto field mapping you can keep it as it is everyone not required to change anything you can keep it as it is simply click on your okay and accept accept all the proposal i mean technical name functional name all the things accept 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 like that means we are giving the instruction to the system okay field mappings what is this currency or what is this like that means what is the source and what is the rule what here one code was going to generate it like this automatically this is the thing click on here save and back one step back and this steps is not required everyone the this step is not required and sixth step is not required directly you can go to seventh step so what we need to do we already created template we already uploaded a uh, data in template we already given the instruction to the system technical name functional name characteristic length everything we already given the instruction now we want to upload the template here seventh step so don't open any data in your sap don't open any excel you can close all the excel ms word notepad except sap don't open anything on your sa system you can close everything don't close sap except sap you can close everything then uh, then you can upload okay if you open any other things now sometimes it throw the error message you can close all any other excels are open you can close everything notepad excel everything you can close and where is the data everyone where is my data and this is my data everyone i created this this data i want to upload okay 
and uh, double click on uh, specify file upload and click on your legacy data your legacy data click on your create and file where is that file file is on desktop uh, where is that what is the file name this one right this one now everyone yes no yes sir this one we can upload into the sc and what is the file name example cost center upload and uh, here now you can select tab later this one this one here everyone concentrate everyone here we are uploading the file set up here any name tab later means all the fields and all we need to upload and click on here okay okay see then save and back how many cost centers we are uploading everyone how many how many ten sir ten, ten, ten. Oh. okay now remaining all are normal things everyone double click on assignment field and uh, delete existing one and first you can delete existing one i mean select delete existing one assign new one and save and one step back double click on read data just double click on close okay click on your execute allows how many is this correct everyone then yes sir yes sir one step back one step back again double click on display read data and click on here ok simply ok so this is the data we are uploading you can double click on any line item double click on any line item you can observe here i am uploading controlling area bmca cost center this is the cost center name from date and to date and again names uh, short text and long text person responsible mr pujit you can verify all the fields are updating properly or not this is the technical name this is the functional name this is the length and this data we are going to upload yes no following everyone sir on whatever data we uploaded in template now that data we are going to hear you just double click on anyone here let's see your person responsible miss ashwini go back and uh, you can double click on it you can verify it just verify and one step back like this okay one step back just verifying again convert data and click on your execute how many here also it will show 10 and one step back one step back again step back double click on display convert data and let's look into this everything is green success and if you double click on any line item then you can verify okay and uh, double click on this you can verify okay and create batch input session here one session was going to generate it double click on create batch input session then simply click on your execute everyone that's it one session was going to generate it double click on verify double click on verify like that way here what end of the day what i did everyone what i did first i created one template Later, we uploaded that, uh, we updated the data on template. Later, we are giving the instruction to the template. How, how much length of character takes and how much is this, uh, I mean, uh, you know, what data, which field, what is the technical name? We are giving the instruction. Later, we are uploading the file. Later, we are display, we are verifying. Then, finally, we can execute Clear, clear so far. Yes, no. Okay, okay. Yes, no. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. 
So double click on batch run put input session. So one batch input session will generate it like this. Select this, click on your process. Select this line item, click on your process. If you click on your background, everything uploaded in background. You are unable to see how it can be uploaded. And if you click on your foreground, then you need to see how the fields are up updating. Maximum people, they click on background. Why? Because um, hundreds of master data, thousands of master data, they are uploading. So if you click on your foreground, na, you need to enter, 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 enter like that. You need to enter like that. Button, enter button you want to use. If you click on your background, everything uploaded into the background. So you can do other works. And display only errors. If you click on this, only errors will go into display. Other things will update in the background. Do one thing, everyone. In the practicing purpose, let's click on your foreground. Let's see how the data is going to upload. Updating in the SAP. Select your foreground only. Click on your process. If you select foreground, you need to enter button. Enter, 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 enter like that. Click on your process and enter, enter button. Let's enter, 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 enter. See how the data is updating. See, enter, 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 <laughs> enter, enter like that. Enter, 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 enter. Finish. Done. Done, everyone. So display cost center. What is the T code, everyone? Display cost center. What is the T code? K03. Go to K03. And here, uh, Check your controlling area. It is your controlling area, then fine. In case it is not your controlling area, go to extras and set controlling area. That is your controlling area, then fine. And here now, just click on your browse. And uh, company code BM10, press enter. And uh, is this created now? All are came or not? Yes, sir. In department A, Department B, I can create previous classes. Now this one I created. Yes, no? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like same way you can use for all type of master data. Okay. Yes, uh, this is the process. Okay. Lengthy process, but important process. Okay. Uh, questions, questions, please. Questions. Go ahead, questions. And uh, tomorrow we'll see this one. LTM, CMO, LTM, OM, like that we'll see. Okay. Migration data, cockpit. We analyze some more data. This LSMW, na? LSMW, it will work ECC and S4 HANA. Both. Both system, LSMW work. Even if you don't know L LTM, CM, OM, no problem. You can go ahead with L LS and W. Good way. Otherwise, even learn both. Okay. One second, everyone. One second. One minute. I will be back. One. Hi, uh, everyone. Uh, um, please, uh, questions, ma'am. Questions, everyone.